and I love saying your your uh, full name as it is on Facebook, yeah. Alfredo Enrique Benavides. Am that I is, saying that uh, correctly? That is absolutely correct. Wonderful. How are you, sir? I'm I'm very well. I'm hydrated. Yes. I'm uh, I'm, I'm feeling oh, good. Can yeah. you just pull that mic a little closer to you? Yeah. There we go. Yeah, how's that? Oh, How's perfect. That, that is wonderful. Uh, Thank you, sir. Speaking of the mic, please. There you go. There you go. Fredo, everyone calls you Fredo, correct? Yeah. Okay, yeah, very good. That's easy. I just wanted to make sure because, you know, somebody called uh, uh, Chris Cuomo Fredo once and uh, he got very angry. <laughs> you've seen that. You've seen that video. You know, I mean, I, granted, that's the least of his problems, so, but. <laughs> for example, so Polly, Polly C actually just slipped up, called me Eduardo. I noticed it, that. And, and I was like, whatever, I don't correct people. Yeah, it, yeah. Because it, 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 it is a rough, it's a hard name to say. You know, yeah. It's not, it's not, it, I get it. You know what I mean? Because it's. It also, uh, I'm just I'm not an uptight person about it. Yeah, like, you know, like I, 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 my old, uh, my old job, there was a guy, his, you know, his name was James, but everyone, he's, everyone called him Jim. Oh, okay. But like, I remember I called him James one time. He's like, oh, it's Jim. You know, and I'm like, <laughs> right. you know, so right, right. I was like, oh, get it right, you know. So I'd, I'd love to mess with him. Like, hey, what's up, Jimbo? It's yeah. Jim. You know, like, I, yeah, I've never. <laughs> I, I don't uh, care. You can call me whatever you want. In high school. My nickname, you know, my last name is Connerton. Yeah. But no one knew how to say it. In high school, you know, first day of school, teachers would always say Connerton. Yeah, and that yeah. ended up becoming my nickname. It just stuck. Like a lot of my friends called me Connerton. And I got so used to hearing that that I stopped correcting people. Yeah. You know, after high school, out in the real world, people would pronounce it Connerton. Yeah, it's, and it's, I wouldn't not even, it's not worth it. You, you, I, can I, be, I, was, I can be Connerton to you. I was so That's used not, to it. It, it, so, it sounded natural to me. I was so used to being called that. I just, uh, yeah, I just didn't bother. Alex, uh, oh, I'm sorry, Axel. I do that every time I see his name, Axel. And I'm not, not sure how to say his last name. That, is it Bailey? That's Bagley. Oh, it's Bagley? Is that how yeah, you say that, it? Yeah, it's Bagley. The GH combination made me think it was silent. Yeah, I mean, G, G and H can be an F sound, can That's it? That's I true, too. <laughs> By, Bifley or something. No, but uh, yeah, Axel's been on the show, uh, I think, I, once or twice. Yeah, that dude's in a, so many bands yeah. and projects. Oh, He's yeah. A, a staple of the... The music scene here. I don't even remember what band he was playing in when he was on the show. I, I just was remember it, he was on was the it show. Was it Dead Harrison or was it Dank Sinatra or was it? He's been in the Faith Ann band. He's been in uh, Argon Red. Oh, he's it was probably in, uh, Dead Harrison because I've interviewed Dead Harrison. Oh, it was Married Iguana. Thank Married, you, Axel. He was in Married Iguana. That's right. But, that's right. He was for the first album. He was there. Uh, that's right. Him and Brett uh, Brett Higgins were here right, that yeah. day. Yeah, I was, I was on that album with him. I was the. Key- oh, you were. Yeah, I was, okay, I was the keyboard player. Oh wow! Yeah, small world, and, small scene. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> and uh, I was I was doing like a like a weird thing where I was playing keyboard with my left hand and like guitar with my right hand or like really yeah or I'd be playing keyboards and then switch to lead guitar and then oh wow keyboards it was kind of an experimental thing married iguana is actually playing the shaskeen coming up here mm. um which is one of the i think the, the the last like true venues in this city that are making it happen with the local music yeah yeah well it's tough these days I mean, i'm a little biased but... guy. i love that place oh yeah shaskeen's a great place absolutely absolutely but yeah full band you know full bands have it where's you know happening in manchester oh yeah that's that's one of those places yeah he says in the chat he says dank sinatra in the house yeah <laughs> yeah yeah he, he is the uh he is the other half of dank sinatra we we're uh you know just adding a, a keyboard player now we're like still looking for a bassist so, oh no kidding you know that album that song you just heard i'm playing the guitar and the bass okay and um you know, we've been having uh, guys from other bands like Nathan Pajari from from Cosmic Fusion and uh, uh, Curtis Beard from Strange Language. Yeah, and he's uh, that, that's another guy in a million projects too. Oh, really? Yeah. But he's he's uh, we've had him fill in uh, because our guitar player, uh, you know, left the band, so uh. I, I became the guitar player. Oh, okay. I was, I was yeah, originally yeah. the bassist. So oh, no it was, kidding. Yeah, the, there's been lineup changes, but the, the, we're keeping the name and uh, yeah, and the you know I wrote, I wrote all the songs. So. Uh, oh, okay. Well, there you go. Well, that makes it. Uh... Yeah, so it is kind of uh, kind of up to you in that case. Yeah, yeah that's good. <laughs> hey, this is uh, Mike Sutterth. How are you all doing? Mike hey. Sutterth, better known as, uh, well, better known to some as Grant Lampton. Mr. How Grant are you? Lamp- yeah, yeah for, for royalty purposes, let's uh, restart here. And uh, hey, this is Grant Lampton. Hey, <laughs> Grant, Grant Lampton, how are you? <laughs> I, I'm very well. I, I made it a point to uh, listen to you guys tonight, and I'm enjoying the conversation. Fredo, my friend, how are you, brother? I, I I'm good, man. I'm good, good to hear you. I was just playing. Uh, I was playing my bass earlier today, and uh, I, I was looking down. I got the Grant Lampton sticker between the uh, between the pickups. Excellent. Ooh. It's a, it's the surfboard sticker. 
Well, hey, if you don't have anything uh, better going on here later in the evening, I was going to run over and play with Johnny Friday, but I've determined I have to determine if that's still going on tonight. But I'd like to play with you again soon. Yeah, man, we'll have to we'll have to link up sometime for sure. I I, I don't know if it's going to happen tonight. Tonight, uh, I am working and at the uh, at the Shasky, and there's going to be the the Ruby Room comedy. Oh right, right. Is, excellent. There. And uh, so I've been doing. Well, you, that your Wednesday. dear friend uh, Mike Tin. Uh, yeah. was kind enough to get back to me here, uh, I think it was last week or whatever, but I'm um, trying to yeah. have some conversations and get my skinny ass in there. But um, it's great to hear you on the radio, man, and um, I'm enjoying the conversation y'all are having. Matty, how are you doing, brother? Doing well, doing well. Excellent. Well, you, you guys are doing a great job, and I, I enjoy, and like I said, I made a point to uh, to listen to you guys tonight, and Fredo and I have known each other longer than you and I have that. And uh, it yeah, was kind of a weird wild uh, pre-COVID uh, convergence, how he and I met each other and kind of got to um, play some music when other people weren't playing music. And, That's right. Um, he, he's been kind enough to kind of play with me, and um, I, I hope I have the opportunity to play with him going forward. So um, I'll uh, let you guys oh, go, and, and I'm enjoying the Facebook live feed. And uh, I'll, I'll catch send you, man. some... Um, um, some <laughs> stuff that shouldn't be said, and that way you can screen him, Matty. How's that? <laughs> oh, well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm having a hell of a good time with some of you guys. Fredo, great to see your face uh, on Facebook here on the feed, and I look forward to hearing you very soon. And Matt, as always, I appreciate your, uh, your right. opportunity to get me on for my little economics thing. But uh, Absolutely. I'll let you guys go. Merry Christmas, and God bless you all. All right. Thank Merry you. Christmas, Mike. Thank Merry you Christmas. for the call. Take care. Cheers, man. Thanks. Oh, Thank bye you bye. so much. You got it. That's uh, Mike Sutterth, uh, also known as Grant Lampton, who, of That's course. Right. Uh, One and only. Uh, by the way, Rhonda Favero in the chat room says Alfredo has a beautifully soothing voice. Wow. Hmm. Very, very nice. I'll take that. Yes, yes. Have you ever considered getting into hypnotherapy? I think I, you'd be very good at it. <laughs> you're getting sleepy. You See? You'd be very good at that. You'd be very good. We have another uh, call. You want to read me the numbers on your card? <laughs> There's CVC code in the back. That could work. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Hey. Axel. Finally got to a phone from him. Hey. Oh, hey, man. Axel, how are you? Doing all right. Um been, you know, I'm kind of throwing around a serious question that could possibly, like, you know, crack the, the time and state, space continuum. Um, oh, my. <laughs> but, <clears throat> yeah, yeah. So, so the, the, ma- the major question before I say my pleasantries is, oh. between the both of you, yeah. does pineapple belong on pizza? Oh, absolutely not. I feel pineapple on pizza is an abomination. <laughs> And while I'm not uh, myself religious, I will say I believe it is a sin against God. <laughs> <laughs> what say uh, what, what say you, Fredo? I, I've never been a fan of it. I, I'm not. I'm not gonna. I, I, I never felt strong enough to say like like if you made it. I'm not gonna say I'm not eating it. Mm, right. But I'm never gonna order it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, you know it's kind I mean? of one of those like toppings that are like completely. I'll put up with it. You know, uh, division. Oh, uh, you know, division <laughs> pepper. Thing, you know, like, oh, well, we can't have that. But I never liked have, it like, as, a, as a kid. And anchovies. See, but those are savory and salty. And, and, and I, I don't yeah. No, I just wanted to, I wanted to call in and, and you know, say hi. And, since I can't be there physically. So, uh, but, oh, dude, um, did you? So yeah. we're going to play uh, another song off, off, of the, off of the new recording, which we're, we're throwing no around way. names. Yeah, we just, well, we played one earlier. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, we, by the way, we, Matt. Matt, Matt, you actually said my my last name correctly. I did. Yeah. W- w- which way? Or, or like after he after he said it that you guys said it it's correctly. Ba- it's Bagley, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh no, that was, really? for, that yeah, was... the G. The, the G H throws people off. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because... Yeah, I, I I thought it was Bailey when I first read it. Oh really? Yeah. yeah I was like, what is? A that? lot of people say that. Yeah. A lot of the silent, you know. Yeah, yeah. Because they'd rather not say. Bagley, and they just rather just go with Bailey, like it's some type of like B A. Because it's like because 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 you think it's Irish, but it's actually German. Oh, yes, it is German. It's German. Very German. German. Oh, okay. I'm gonna I didn't. Yell into the yeah, I didn't. I didn't think of that. I, yeah, I assumed it was Irish. Oh, <laughs> huh, I'll be damned. Okay. I mean, I am a I am a mutt, so it's you know kind of half and half anyway. Yeah, we well, all are. You go far back enough. Oh yeah, absolutely. Anyway. If you do ancestry, no one, no, but, uh, one, no one will know how much. 
fun old grandpa got into. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he, he got That's into true. a lot, you know, That's Portuguese true. and Irish <laughs> and Scottish and <laughs> yeah. But Fredo, so, it's so... awesome to see you. It's awesome to see you up on radio and you know, being you, you know. So yeah. awesome. dude, I'm, I'm, dude. So the the next one we're gonna play. I was, I, you know, I guess you have voting rights here, but I was, I wanted to play, uh, uh, enjoy it while you can. Absolutely. And then, yeah. So it's, it's exciting. Old friend. Yeah, right on. This this is like a a, a new record that um I we were kind of forced into writing really quickly. You know, like have you seen this this, this uh, Beatles footage that just came out? I haven't I, I want to see that. It's, it's I, I haven't I haven't yet. So I I have been watching snippets of it. Like the premise of it though is that the record company came to the Beatles right. and said y'all have x many days to give us an album. Yeah. And so Axel and I had these songs we've been kicking around, you know, for like the better part of a year. And yep. it, it, some of them were, were like it, it, uh, a rehash, you know, like uh, of old songs, like of older songs. Yeah. You know, like, and so uh, having a conversation with my friend, we had already booked this studio time, uh, who just joined the band as a keyboarded player. And he says, hey, let go of those old songs, man. Just write all new things. Huh. I'm like I'm like I got I got a couple, month and a half to do that. Oh <laughs> sure, let's do it. Sure, a, a full album? <laughs> yeah, yeah, like eight songs. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, yeah, no like, problem. Like yeah, <laughs> but, but, but you know, like at least like 35, 40 minutes or and and I, there was this. Uh, I think the whole the whole idea behind like you know I've been writing all these songs, um, mostly about like breakups and and like like the you know past you know experiences. Yeah, just let them go, man. Huh. You write something totally new. Yeah, Just, exactly. You know, move forward. Huh. And, and so we did it. I mean, we're we're always we're always pushing the limits of how far fundamentally we can keep songs. You know, relatively like jammable and alive. And you know, as, if part of the but set we, or whatever. We, uh, you know, but we finally like want to add. You want to stay fresh, that. though. Yeah. And uh, we we worked with uh, Eric Sauter, uh over at Blackheart. Shout um, out to Blackheart Sound. Huge. You know that guy. Uh, boy, he's good at what he does. Um, where, where is his? Is it in Manchester? Oh yeah, he's, uh, yeah, five seventy Willow yep, yep. Street, oh, okay. right by the, uh, right next to the, like between the, uh, behind the cemetery next to the jail. Oh no, kidding! I had uh, no idea right there, there was like, a... where Valley meets Willow. Oh okay, right there. Oh, so the be, there's the Manchester Music Mill, and I love that place. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and so right behind that place, in the same building. Okay, kinda, like in the, the yep, overstock yep. area of that, of that, uh, uh, of the mill. Okay. He's got a studio. He's been putting out stuff like the Graniteers, I think, recorded there. Oh, okay, yep. Uh, that know, dude is the man. Yeah, his band, Magnetar, kicks ass. Ooh, like, they're really, really good stuff. I've seen them online. Yeah. They're, they're awesome. Uh, so All right, I'm he's not going to take any more of your time because I know you guys want to talk about a bunch of stuff, but <laughs> I love you, Matt. love you, Alfredo. Uh, just kick some ass. Hey, love you too. Bye-bye. All right, you too, man. Thank you so much for the call, you Axel. Too, All right, take Thank care. You. Bye-bye. All right, very nice. What was the name of the song that uh, we opened with again? What was that called? Uh, that was called "The Air Between Us." Air Between Us. Okay, so that's part of this project where you had to write, yeah, eight eight songs, and you said about a month and a half, yeah. six weeks. Yeah, yeah, about wow. that. Wow. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, that's uh, that's really cool. So th- now, is this um, this hasn't been released yet? Correct. No. Not so, yet. Th- so this music that we're hearing today, this is a world radio premiere. It is. I'm honored. It is. I love no, that. This, no one's heard this before. I love yeah. that. That's awesome. Outside of my roommate. I think like I played it for Faith Ann in the car. Yeah. Like <laughs> that's, that's other than that, I don't know no one else has. So Faith yeah. Ann is your roommate? Yeah. Okay. I live well, I live in her house. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, cool. I'm I'm the bass player for her band, the Faith Ann band. Oh wow. Okay. And you know, we're, we're releasing uh an album as well. I mean that that album was recorded in Ohio uh last spring. Okay. And it's been you know, mixed and mastered. Um, and, you know, the band went through a lineup change. We got our new new guitarist. We, we're actually uh, booked for the New Year's Eve party at Area 23 in Concord. Oh, no kidding. That's going to be a blast, uh, the Faith Ann band. And she's she's freaking awesome, man. Uh, you know, like I've I'm, never... just, I'm just happy to be a part of her project. You know, I, I have yeah. my own thing here with, with Dank Sinatra. Yeah, yeah. Know? But, like, uh, absolutely... Uh, so stoked to mm. be a part of that train that that she is she's driving, you know. 
Um, I've never interviewed her, but I know she's been on. Uh, I know she's been on Granite State of Mind. I think m- more than once with yeah. uh, Rob Azevedo. And she's got strong opinions on things. You know yeah, I, mean? <laughs> I, I should she's get a fire, her in here. Fiery yeah. woman. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, very cool. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I mean, you know, she's someone who, like, like for example, like if something breaks in the house, man, I, I'm a man, but I, I'm gonna call someone. I'm gonna mm-hmm. call a professional. Right. Not her, man. She's gonna figure everything out. Oh no, kidding! Soup to nuts. She's yeah. gonna fit like she's building a bus. Oh yes, actually, recently I uh, when I mean, she was on Rob's been, show, yeah, I was listening to, to them talking it's been about amazing that. Amazing to watch her <laughs> like physically build this whole an engineer. That is remarkable. The, the whole bus, like, yeah, inside out, like the bed inside, the air, wow. con- air conditioning system, the electrical. It's nuts. Like no was, kidding. Yeah, she's out there, like you know, with like a welder's mask, just like, <laughs> you know, like drilling. I'm like, dude. Wow. And you know, I'm inside, like, you know. And why? Why is she? Video uh, games or something. Is she is she building the bus for tour, touring purposes, or is it just something she wanted to do? Or I, I, I think it's a combination of like, yeah, bus life, and of course, you know, like having a, a, a traveling band. Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. You don't usually hear someone say, yeah, I'm building a bus. <laughs> That's good for her. You know, good what blows her. my mind. And, uh, like, I, you know, I, I, don't, I don't, I don't mind, uh, uh I guess, uh, 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 talking so good about my friend, you know, she, yeah. cause anything she really does, she seems to just be good at it. It's kind of yeah. scary. Yeah. Like, I'm going to do this. Okay. I'm going to do, you know, she's, I'm going to juggle fire. Cool. I can do that now. <laughs> I'm going to ride a motorcycle. I'm going to climb a mountain. I'm going to do that now. Right. She just does it. You know what I mean? That's awesome. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm excited about like, you know, binging Better Call Saul and like eating some ice cream. Right, and, right. You know, <laughs> catching up on politics, you know, like that's a little more, I don't know. I, I'm not as adventurous as she is. Yeah. yeah she's yeah. a very adventurous person. Yeah. No, that's, uh, that's really cool. Very adventurous spirit. So how many uh, how many active projects do you have? Uh, um, it was just those two right now. Okay, just, just Dank Sinatra and and uh, the Faith Am Band. And how many instruments do you play? Uh, I play well. I would you know say three. I say, I'm, I'm decent pianist, keyboard player. Yeah. Um, so bass and guitar. Okay. You know, I, guitar I've been playing since I was 15. I'm 38, and uh, you know bass probably just maybe four or five years after that. Yeah. Um, you know, and I've been a working bass player more than a, a, a guitarist, even though. Oh, know, really? Yeah. I, I don't know which one I love more. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Um, keyboards. Uh, I didn't learn until I was like 20. So probably like 18 years of keyboards. Yeah. And then I just, if, if, you know, someone had a gun in my head, I could get through a gig with drums. But oh, no I, kidding. I, but, yeah. but I'm not a good drummer. Yeah, like, yeah. I can't do anything crazy. Yeah. You know? I can, yeah. I can hold it down. Yeah. But like, I, you wouldn't want to pay me. Have you played <laughs> drums live? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I've I've gotten through gigs. And oh, stuff, okay, you know? yeah. Like, I think well, we need someone. Okay, I'll do it. Huh? Yeah, I'm always uh, jealous of uh, you know I I'm a bass player and that's that's really I mean I can play a little bit of guitar but the only thing I'm I'm even moderately good at is uh, is bass. But, I w- uh, I just I I was told that you're a bassist. Yeah, yeah. By my friend Aaron Billado. Um, Aaron. he was in this band Change of Season. Yes. And uh, he said that he was in some other project. I don't know if it, if it was Change of Season or another project, but that he left that project. And you actually replaced him as the bassist in the band that he left. Or was I don't know if he asked. I don't know what the circumstances was for him leaving the band. But he said, oh, yeah, Matt Carrington. He played bass in that band I was in. I played bass in a band that he had been in? I guess so. He's he's now the keyboard player for Dank Sinatra. We just, he oh, ju- no he just came on board. I mean, oh. And he's a good friend of mine. Cause I I do recall, and I get it. I've I've been in a you know like most of us yeah. in the scene. I've I've been in many bands, and yeah. I do remember. So I was um I was almost going to be the bass player. See, I wonder if he has it just a little backward in his mind because I was going to be the bass player in yeah. Change of Season. Okay. okay, and then he ended up being the bass player in Change of Season. I he's a. a better bass player than me anyway you know, he's I, a pretty good he's, bass he's, player he's really good i wanted i wanted him to play bass he's like i want to play keyboards I said, really yeah all right, all right. You, yeah. Do, do, you do what you want no he's he's a really good <laughs> bass player yeah he's a great guy man but i was um at the time so i was i was without a band the band i'd been in broke up and i i played a couple times with change of season and they yeah. wanted me to join but then i don't know if you remember uh there was a band called first shove 
um, a hardcore band, and I I also played with them a okay. couple of times, and I I felt like I fit better in First Shove, right? So I went with First Shove, and and had a great. It was a great, you know, it was only a couple of years, but it was a great time. But then, uh, but then Aaron was in change of season. It's also possible that I have it mixed up in he, my he's head. He's a technically sound dude, but he's he, really he, he's, a good he's really good. I mean, I felt like because the stuff change of season was doing at the time yeah. was um was more complex anyway so i i felt like he was probably a better fit for change of season than i was anyway because i'm not you know i'm not a super technical guy you know you know, you I, know why i like him because his mind goes different places like he listens yeah. to a lot of weird uh like like frank he's into frank zappa he's into yeah. the, the flaming lips and like and like things that are different yeah yeah you know what i mean and i, I like that he's not a um it's, it's not run of the mill yeah. You know, and I think that like uh, there's such a right now in music, there is uh, all this data to tell you which are the keys, which are the time signatures, which are the um, to almost gu- mm. guarantee popularity. Mm-hmm. And it's it's more he's he's more on, on my tip, which is like, let's just say something honestly and, and, and in a fun way. Yeah. You know, and I think that just being honest or, or, or just being different is like edgy or, you know, yeah. uh, actually artistic these days because it's, yeah. it's so easy to just, uh, you know, use the algorithm, <laughs> you know, <laughs> right. of, of, of music, you know, like to, to just create something popular. And it's, it's so easy. It's so watered down now. Right, right. That's why I like people like him. Yeah. Uh, so I'm excited that he joined the band. So he's playing keyboard. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. And I, I I try to you know like nudge him in the ribs like hey if you want to play bass you know he's like no I want to. <laughs> <laughs> you're still gonna need a bassist I, okay no problem yeah yeah uh, but like it actually it, it fills in a lot of sound yeah yeah, yeah it's it, it a lot so he's some 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 stuff is uh atmospheric mm-hmm. you know and I like that yeah yeah it, there isn't um. There aren't any rules anymore. You know, there's no rows where we're going. Like you can, uh, it, you can have one song, be a straightforward, you know, kind of alt rock indie song, mm-hmm. and then the next song you can have a, a crazy atmospheric jam. Yeah. You know, and uh, n- no reason why you should feel like you have to do one thing. I think that days, those days are gone now. So do you? Because you you write the songs, right? Yeah. In the, in the project. So do you? Um, have you given him any guidance about like you know? this is what I have in mind for this song. This is what I have in mind for that song. Or is it all just, you, you know, here's the song, do your thing. Yeah. So, uh, actually like in, with some of these songs that, um, he's already la- oh, last night, he sends me like three different tracks. He's like, Hey, and, and I said, Oh, well I like this part of that song, but this other part change it. And he says, well, what do you want more? I was thinking like a faith, no more vibe with this, you know? And yeah, so we have a conversation about like where we want this to head. You know, or, or like, you know, I like the melody, but maybe I don't like the sound of the, of that keyboard. Maybe, you know, something more synthy or more saw or mm-hmm. rounder. Or, you know, I don't know. Yeah. You know, yeah. Like, uh, but the conversation is there. And yeah. I, I, it's cool because uh, people like him push me to get my ideas together more, mm-hmm. you know, and like stay productive, stay active. Yeah. You know, I think that's it's, it's so easy to get stale as an artist, you know, sure. you just keep it fresh. So some, some new blood in the band. Now you're not, you're not from here originally, correct? Because no. I think, uh, Mike Sutter, uh, slash Grant Lampton, uh, said yesterday that, uh, y- you guys are both from the same area originally, right? So the- I, I grew up in San Francisco, yeah, California. I went to Reardon high school, uh, which is in the city of San Francisco, you know? Um, and then I, I graduated, uh, 17. I, I moved to Oakland. Uh, and and the like the and the sub suburbs around Oakland and then eventually in, in the city of Oakland. Yeah. Till I was uh, thirty one, I moved here. Okay. I've been here for seven years. Yeah. In the city of Manchester, um, mostly like Ward Eight, like up that area. Yeah. Uh, but uh, now I I'm, I'm up River Road now, and um, I it's become home. Yeah. You know, it's seven years. This is where my daughter is is growing up and. Um, it's probably where I'll be till she's old enough to not need me. Right, you know? right. And, and that, at that point, I can consider my options. But, you know, for now, 
What what brought you here? Because you you literally went from one end of the country to the oh, other. Oh yeah. yeah. So I met my ex wife out there in San Francisco. Okay. And she's and she grew up here and she was a transplant out there. Oh okay. We got we got married and had a kid. Yeah. And uh, her her old man, my uh, my ex father in law. I, I still you know, I call him dad, man. I love the guy. Oh, that's that's good. Was, yeah. Uh, no, we're 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 still everybody's on good terms. Oh, that's good. It, it's rare, and I, mm. I'm so grateful for it. So mm-hmm. so grateful uh, to have like a functioning civil co-parent to get along with. No doubt, yeah. Um, but in any case, uh, you know, he he was having like some issues with his ticker. You know, he had like a like a pacemaker, and so she was like, "I want to, you know, be there in New England." You know, yeah. Because I don't know how long I had time with my family. I said, "All right, let's let's give it five years, maybe ten years." You know? mm. It's your family, you know. It's, yeah. so I was married at the time. Yeah. Uh, and then, you know, uh, even though we split, we decided just, this is probably a better place for, for Linda, for our daughter to be raised here. Yeah. So here I am. Yeah. You know, and this is home now. Yeah. And I'm, you know, just making the best of it. It's, it's, uh, it, it's completely different than San Francisco in almost every way. Really? Yeah. Yeah. At least this neck of New England. Yeah. You know, I was just telling, uh, Axel, uh, the other day, I was like, uh, Boston is very similar to San Francisco. Really, it's almost like a sister city. It's a, a little more racist, but but very similar in almost every other aspect. <laughs> yeah, like yeah, <laughs> except for the hard R. <laughs> yeah, that you hear occasionally. Like there's, it's it's very similar. Like it's an international place. It's it's small. You can get around everywhere. Yeah, without a car. True. You know, um, it's it's kind of twenty four hours. It, you know, it's 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 got a, a pretty liberal vibe. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it's, it, there's something very similar about it. Yeah. It, you know, and, uh, but you know, just outside of here we are, you know, New Hampshire is like such an odd duck <laughs> when it comes to like the, the culture and, uh-huh. and, and the, the, the political ambiance, everything, you know, like. What, what, what were some of the biggest adjustments coming out here? Um, well, I think, I mean, for, first of all, like, like there's a huge huge gay community in san francisco it's pretty much queer mecca you know yeah um and out here it's kind of just like a really open homophobia uh, that, that was a shock yeah um and just i you know probably uh just just the demographics right the, the ethnic demographics the political mm. demographics just completely shift you know? yeah it's completely different yeah san francisco is such a liberal place right and and it's such an international city, um, and um, it's very much like a, I, I, I don't know like people don't leave the driveway unless everyone's buckled up, like you you uh, you, mm. you, could, you could look at a perfect stranger and wave on the street hello right you know it's right. it's, such a, it's weird it, uh, you know you could come out here and you're like you open the hold the door for someone and ask them oh uh, hi how you doing they'll be like oh hey, well, don't ask me how I'm doing. <laughs> that yeah it's interesting that you say that because i oh who was i talking about it's, that it's something about, about the east coast it's a little it's a little sarcastic it might have been mike Sutter. thing it might have uh, been mike i was talking west about coast about is that. not a sarcastic place yeah the um it's fake but it's not <laughs> well the, the thing about <laughs> it's like not sarcastic the thing about like saying hi to strangers my mom moved out here um the way i came into the world was my mom was living in the midwest that's how we all came into the world that our mothers yeah. that is true that is true shout shout out to uh moms, moms. yeah <laughs> that is very true um she moved out you know she grew up in the chicago area oh, no, and okay. so she grew up in yeah. the midwest and, and she moved she came out here when she was well was she 18 and she comes out here on a bus and i i think the only reason she came here was she just kind of you know threw a dart at a map and wow. and, and came out here what a, wanted a change wow, of scenery but one of the biggest adjustments for her was, you know, in the Midwest, and and I think it's kind of, I get the impression, I mean, I've been in the South, people are very friendly to strangers and whatnot. Yeah. I, I think it's pretty much everywhere except New England. One of the biggest adjustments for her was coming out here, yeah. and, you know, she's walking down the street and she's saying hello to people and kind of realizing, ooh, people here really don't like that. <laughs> I, think it's, I think it's the winter, man. I, I, I don't know what it is. Yeah. People are, but there is a sarcasm. That 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 is, I can, I think, kind of like a, uh, almost like a rite of passage. For, yeah. For, for New Englanders. Yeah. I, I could be wrong. You could have a caller come in and contest that. You know, I'm not, I, I'm not from here. Right. Right. <laughs> this is like the vibe I get with it. Yeah. But I, I don't know. Like I went to Texas, and I, I, gosh, man, I thought California was was friendly. 
Yeah. There's people from Texas. Um, I've never felt so welcomed. Yeah. You know, in, in a, I was in San Antonio, so I don't know if that means anything or if that's different. You know, like I know San Antonio and Austin are a little bit different than the rest of Texas. True. Yeah, um, especially Austin. Yeah. But um, yeah, I, it, which I heard is now like they're calling it the L.A. of Texas. You know, yeah. Like, well, it's, it's, most, it's, it's, it's certainly that. the most liberal uh, part of Texas. I, think there's just, uh, <laughs> I, I don't know uh, what, what it is. Uh, I, I think those are the, the, the main things. Um uh, there's also like a lot more like a di- like the difference about uh with with gun culture. I, mm-hmm. think, I think gun culture out here is stronger, mm-hmm. uh, like a lot stronger. Oh yeah, oh absolutely. Than, than, than in California, absolutely. Um, that was that was kind of just like people are a lot of open carry is brazen out here. Mm-hmm. Like you don't really see that out there. Yeah. You know, well, I don't think you can, right? In California, I, I, I don't know if it's legally, an open carry state. I don't know. I don't, I don't think it is. Uh, yeah. I'll want I'll want to Google that later. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it, it it might be it might be a pretty I don't, you know I know I don't know what uh it, I know the private sale thing is like very different mm-hmm. I mean, out here. It's like I don't know I've I've, I've never seen so many people and, and I, I I I I don't own one. I'm not yeah. like yeah hugely for one or against one. I, I've, yeah. I've never needed one. Yeah, I've never needed to use one in my life. Well, New Hampshire is, uh, I, I, I don't know how consistent this is, but I know most years we rank as, it's interesting, we, we're one of the most heavily armed states in the entire country, Yeah, but we're also one of the safest. Right. There's almost no violent crime here. Sure. So may, maybe an armed society is a polite society. I don't know, but Who I mean, it, it, it seems to work for New Hampshire. I mean, I, I, I think if I was in a situation where I you know, absolutely needed one, you know, I'd I'd, be, I'd want to be able to get one easily. Right. Exactly. Yeah. I guess I've just never been in that situation. Yeah. You know, I don't judge people though. You know, like I have friends, right. I have friends who, who have tons of guns and I, I trust them. They're, oh, good, yeah. they're, they're good people. Uh, and then I have like friends. I'm like, I'm glad you don't own one. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, I'm glad. Well, you we're know, all, we're all happy. Jeff doesn't, you know, whatever. <laughs> right. <laughs> no gun for you, Jeff. <laughs> well, you know, there's, there's some people who shouldn't own a toaster. Um, what's this, uh, song Fredo that I'm going to play? Uh, so this is, uh, enjoy it while you can. Okay. Anything you want us to know about it or, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I, I wrote it recently. Uh, it's kind of about, uh, about just enjoying things while, while, you know, don't, uh, don't expect things to last forever. Just be in the moment, enjoy things because, uh, they might not, they might not last. Just enjoy them while it's happening. You know what I mean? It's good advice. And this is a world radio premiere. It is. Very good. It is indeed. <laughs> we Th- love it. Thanks to Natchez. Newest, newest song here.
We're we're about out of time. We are. Fredo, this has been wonderful. Now, do you have uh, live shows coming up that you want to mention? Are you uh, we be do. Uh, out? Area twenty three uh, in Concord. We're going to be there uh, on uh, on uh, New Year's Eve. Uh, I'll be at Two Share a solo. I'll be at Two Share Brewery here in in the city. If you haven't haven't been to Two Share Brewery, yeah, where's that? Uh, that's on Union Street. Oh. Uh, right next to that bike shop and the laundromat right there on Union Street. Oh, okay. Um, they're some of the best beer in this area. Um, and just, they have a great little room. I'll be there New Year's Eve Eve. Okay. Uh, that's going to be fun. Uh, and then, uh, if you want to just go to the faithandband.com or if you want to check out Dank Sinatra on Facebook, uh, you'll see what we have, uh, coming up into 2022. Okay. Excellent. Um, yeah, Absolutely. Well, uh, Fredo, this has been wonderful, and you're welcome anytime. You know, oh, you know, thank you. No, I, I'd, I'd love to come back sometime. Well, you know, my my two favorite things to talk about, that's why I started the show. I love music. I love politics. Same. Those are my two favorite things. I'm like, so. we're, in the, we're at my wheelhouse. <laughs> yeah, excellent. Well, you fit in great then. So any, awesome, no, any, man. It's any, been a pleasure. Anytime you want to come in, you're welcome. And, uh, oh, oh, where should uh, where should people go online for Faith Ann? You mentioned a website, right? So that's that's thefaithannband.com. Did you mention a website for Dank Sinatra? Uh, Dank Sinatra to... doesn't have a built, uh, doesn't have one built yet. We do gotcha. have just uh, just look up Dank Sinatra on Facebook. Okay, uh, we're so... on, we're also on Spotify and Apple Music and all that. Okay, stuff. you can so look up Dank Sinatra. Easy to find. That's a great name, by the way. Thank who, you. Who, who came? Did you come up with that? Uh, my my drummer Axel Bagley. Oh, came, Axel came, did. Yeah, came up with Dank Sinatra. No, that's a, that's yeah. a really... We're always batting stuff around. That's uh, a cool we're name. We're gonna call this next album Bolterior Motives. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Very good. Very good. All right, Fredo. Thank you so much, my friend. This has been wonderful.